Today, I will share tiny, life-changing micro habits that every single girl can do at home. If you're serious about becoming your best self and leveling up, it starts with the little things you do every day. So that brings us to our first habit. If you're new here, hello, my name is Raina. I make content around productivity, self-help, and self-care. If you're ready to look and feel your best, continue to watch this video. Plan out your to-do list the night before your day. I do this in my own planner every single night before my day starts. That way, I can prioritize my top three to-do tasks for the day. Whenever I do this, I just feel like I have a clear mind every single morning I wake up. I can look at my to-do list. I know exactly what I need to do every day, what my most important tasks are, and my least important tasks. I love the Day Designer Planner so much, and I have been using this every single year since 2020 because of how detailed you can get in this planner. I'm able to write down my three most important tasks for the day. I can check it off, so you won't have any unexpected tasks or deadlines that come up last minute because everything will be written down in your planner. I'm always planning my entire week every single Sunday and at the end of every month. Whenever I sit down and plan my week out every Sunday, I let myself figure out, okay, what is the most important thing that I get accomplished this week? So I'm not just mindlessly going throughout the week. It's kind of like when you go to a grocery store and you don't write anything down in your notes app, but after your grocery shopping, you're like, dang, I wish I would have written things down because now I'm remembering that I forgot things. That's kind of what this is. So at the end of every single week, sit down and and make sure you have your plan for the week so you're not aimlessly going throughout your week without accomplishing any tasks. This is important for your entire month too. Set monthly goals. Everyone talks about yearly goals and yearly resolutions, but I don't see as many people talking about monthly resolutions. How are you going to achieve your big picture goals, your five-year goals, your yearly resolutions when you do not have monthly goals? You don't want to last minute scramble at the end of the week, at the end of the month to try to get any goals accomplished whether that's losing two pounds, eating healthier, meditating more, going to yoga classes, whatever your goals are, you need to write it down because as you write it down, it will stick in your head and you are more likely to accomplish those goals. When you have the opportunity to sit down and review your short-term goals, you're able to figure out, okay, does this tie into my big picture goal? Does this tie into my new year's resolution? Disable all notifications for apps. You need to disable your TikTok, Instagram, YouTube, I don't care. You need to disable your apps. This is especially important if you're going out with friends or you're going out with a boyfriend, your girlfriend, whatever the case may be, because you want to make sure that you're fully present in the moment. Most of the time, any of your messages on your social media apps can wait. I've disabled my notifications so long ago and it literally changed my life. My mind has so much more clarity and I'm not as anxious because when you're scrolling on social medias for hours, you tend to get lost. So let's say you get a notification, you open the message, you're laughing at the message and now you're on TikTok or on Instagram and you cannot stop scrolling. You can't stop looking at videos. This is such an easy distraction that is taken so lightly. You could be using that time to read instead, to learn something new, or to just spend time with your friends and have a good time. I truly believe that not every hour of your life needs to be spent being productive, but sometimes it needs to be spent being present. Just being in the moment and soaking everything in is so good for your mental health. This is definitely a micro habit that I feel is so underrated. Go on walks. Go on a 30 minute walk at least five times a week. I like to go on walks every single day when I wake up. I was in a really bad mental health slump. I work from home, so it's very easy for me to get in slumps because I'm not leaving my home. When you're outside and you turn your phone off and you just go on that walk for 30 minutes, not only is it great for your physical health and well-being, it's so amazing for your mental health to unplug and to just be in the moment and be with your body while you're on that walk. Walking helps to maintain a healthy weight, but it also reduces the risk of chronic diseases. It releases endorphins. So if you wonder why you feel happy after a walk and why you feel a boost of energy, that's why, because you're releasing endorphins. At least for me, I find that whenever I wake up and I go on a walk outside, I just feel better all around. I'm just ready to tackle all my day-to-day -day tasks. Getting up and moving your body improves your mental health so much, even if it's just little things like stretching or light yoga. Just move your body around. Exfoliate before shaving. So I talked a lot about things that you can do internally, but something you can do externally. And if you really want smooth 
smooth and soft skin. Exfoliating before you shave is so important. This reduces strawberry skin, ingrown hairs, and razor bumps. When you exfoliate, you remove dead skin cells and you unclog pores. This reduces the likelihood of hairs getting trapped underneath your skin, which causes ingrown hairs. If you find that you're getting ingrown hairs no matter what, even when you exfoliate, you probably need to change your razor out. Whenever you're using a dull razor, it causes razor bumps, ingrown hairs, and a lot of people forget to change their razors. You need a good and sharp razor. My favorite brand is Venus Razors, and as for my favorite exfoliator, I love the KP Body Scrub. When your body feels good and looks good, you feel good and you look good. Use a retinol in your skincare routine. I've been using retinol since I was a teenager because I suffered from really bad acne. I was on Accutane twice. Retinol helps to stimulate collagen production and it increases cell turnover. It's great for preventing acne, reducing fine lines, and making your skin just look softer and smoother. You know how girls always talk about glass skin, like glass skin glow? This is what gives your skin that glass skin glow, even your body. There are great body products that have retinol as well. Using a body scrub or a lotion with AHA is great for making your skin seem brighter. I even notice myself, whenever I'm not using retinol, my skin looks more rough and dull. I don't know if it's just like in my head, but I definitely feel like that. It's great to start retinol in your early 20s because it does help to prevent signs of aging. I use tretinoin every single night, and for my body, the KP body scrub does have AHA. Less is more when it comes to your facial and body products. So I'm somebody that used to always love and binge must-have videos and I used to participate in a lot of those videos too. And I do love a good must-have list but what I came to realize is no person needs a hundred products. Overconsumption is just bad all around not only for the planet but for yourself. When you are putting too many products on your body it causes irritation and sometimes the ingredients of all of these different types of products you're putting on your body don't work well together. For my face, I only use a sunscreen, my retinol, and a good moisturizer. For my body, I will have a good body wash, body lotion, and exfoliator. And that's all you need. As soon as you find a product that you are obsessed with and the product is really good quality, keep the product and continue using it. I know that one of the biggest problems I had, especially with my skincare, is sometimes products would stop working. And the only way that I was able to combat that was getting on Accutane and changing my diet. So if you do have skin problems, it is important to sometimes try different products, but you also have to keep in mind the more products you try, you're at risk of more irritation. So you wanna limit your skincare. I know a lot of girls love to have seven step routines, but that is really not great for everybody's skin type. Meditate every single day. I meditate at least 15 minutes every day. I did a 100 day challenge where I meditated 20 minutes every day. When I tell you guys that increased my mental health like I have never experienced. I was always somebody who my mind was running like all the time. Every day I was thinking of the past or I was thinking of the future. What I wanted in the future or what happened in the past. And when you're in that vicious cycle, you're not able to move forward and you're not able to be present. Every single day we forget how precious our moments are and we do everything we can to not think of the present moment why aren't you grateful of what's happening in your current moment and that's what I love about meditation it helps you become present in your body and present in your daily experience so I'm somebody who meditates 15 minutes every day you can also do five minutes make it as low as possible as low as you need you don't need to do 30 minutes or an hour but doing it every single day when you wake up before you go to bed will improve your mental health and you will be glad that you did this. You wanna work with your body clock. So if you are a morning person like I am, implement more of your most important tasks right after you wake up. If you're a night person and you feel you're more energetic in the nighttime, put more of your important tasks in the evening. If you're a girl and you're watching this, I also like to follow my menstrual cycle as to knowing whether or not I have high energy or low energy. I notice I have my highest energy when I'm peaking during my ovulation phase. And when I'm on my period, I feel the lowest energy. So make your to-do list sync with your menstrual cycle. Especially as a woman, it's so important to follow your cycle and to know when your energy is the highest and when your energy is the lowest. If you're a morning person or if you're a night person. And make your to-do list according to that. Cut down on snacking. I tried intermittent fasting for 30 days and I'm so glad that I did it. It taught me self-discipline but it also taught me that I used to snack all the time which is not good. What I liked about intermittent fasting was I had 
had an eight hour time frame of when I could eat. So I would just eat bigger meals naturally and I wouldn't have that craving to snack as much. I feel like it definitely gave me mental clarity and it let me know that snacking slowed me down. I would just find a reason to eat because I was stressed or anxious. And when I was forced to make bigger meals throughout the day, I would make them a lot healthier because I needed to get all of my vitamins from two meals. I don't think intermittent fasting is for everyone, but if you're interested in becoming more self-disciplined, I think that it's a good option for you. Pick one day every week where you deep clean your entire apartment. Every single Sunday, I get my mop, my vacuum, and my broom, and I deep clean my entire place. This is so important to do to reset your entire place for the next week. When you're waking up to a place that's super clean and organized, your mental health improves so much. You feel so much better and you feel more productive, like you're ready to tackle everything life has for you. At least that's how I am. I feel like when I wake up to a clean environment, I automatically feel a lot better. So you can make this in sync of your work schedule. Figure out a day that's good for you to just relax, put on some good music, put on your favorite music, and just get to cleaning. I promise after you do this, you will feel like your entire life has improved and you have all of your shit together. And there you have it, ladies. Those are micro habits that will change your life instantly. If you love this level up video and you want to watch more, check out this video that I made. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!